Hi everyone, this is Aicha teacher. Today we are here to talk about future continuous and past wishes. We divided our uh, topics into two parts as you see here. So, as the first part, uh, I will talk about the usage of the future continuous tense. The future continuous tense is also called future progressive tense is a verb tense that indicates that something will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. This is really important here. Something will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. The form is here will be plus the present participle, which is verb ing in the simplest way. Let's see it in an example. I will be watching the marathon. The future continuous tense is for actions, action verbs only. This is really important because, you know, uh, we have two kinds of words action and stative I can only use this tense for action verbs because it is possible to do them for a duration uh, if something is continuous you know we always need a duration because it is continuing so I only have duration in action verbs let's see the definitions of them actually to see the main difference action verbs describe us activities like running thinking and seeing however stative verbs describe states of existence like being seen seeming and knowing so I need activities to talk about continuous future continuous tense I don't need those I cannot make a future continuous tense form sentence in states of existence verb let's see them in examples It is incorrect if you say, I will be being stressed tomorrow during my test. It sounds actually a little bit odd, like, right? Uh, we don't say, I will be being stressed. Being is a stative verb. I need an active verb that has duration. So if I want to use this sentence, I will use future simple tense. I will be stressed tomorrow during my test. This is the correct way. Another incorrect sentence, for an example. Winter will be seeming like a distant memory. What? Of course not. We should say Winter will seem like a distant memory. Again, incorrect if you say, after I study, I will be knowing all the answers. You should say, after I study, I will know all the answers. That is to say, if you want to make a sentence by using stative verbs, you have to use future simple. You can never use future continuous or future progressive tense. The future continuous tense is used for an action at a particular moment in the future. At 4 p.m. tomorrow, I will be working. Let's see them in the titles past, present, and future. 
4 p.m. I mean tomorrow is in future of course in future and 4 p.m. is a particular moment in this future okay so that is to say at 4 p.m. I will be in the middle of working let's remember the form feature continues again and make a brief summary on this page will be verb ing and we have Two, four titles to make a brief summary about future continuous tense. Action in progress at a time in the future. While she is doing her homework, he will be finishing a presentation. Interrupted action in the future. I will be waiting for you when you arrive at the airport tonight. Parallel actions in the future. She will be writing the article and he will be taking the pictures. Atmosphere in the future. When I arrive to the class, the teacher will be talking. Some students will be taking notes and my best friends will be trying to stay awake. This was the summary page for future continuous tense. Don't forget, we need will be and verb ing and our verbs should be active uh, verbs, not stative verbs. Now, this is time to talk about our second part for our uh, unit. This is about the wishes in the past. Actually, it also means our regrets. Wish that and past perfect is our form. That is optional. If you want, you can add or not. Let's look at the definition. We can use wish with the past perfect to talk about the regrets from the past. Okay, this is really important. These are things that have already happened. Okay, that have already happened. But we wish they happened, they had happened in a different way or they hadn't happened. The usage of it is very similar to the third conditional in, I mean, if clauses. I wish I had studied harder at school. It means that I didn't study at school and now I am so sorry about it. I wish that, as we said it is optional, I hadn't eaten so much yesterday. We are sorry about it. But we but I ate a lot yesterday and now I think it wasn't a good idea. I wish the train had been on time. Uh, we can draw a conclusion like this. Unfortunately, the, dr the train was late and so I missed my interview. Please look at this part. We can also use if only instead of wish but because they are equal. If only I had gone to the party, equals to the sentence, I wish I had gone to the party.
Let's do four examples together. I didn't study French at school. I wish, or if only, I had studied French at school. My second sentence is, I wasn't passionate with her, now I'm sorry about it. I wish, or if only, I had been passionate with her. We didn't visit our grandma. If only, or I wish, we had visited our grandma. I didn't enjoy at the party. I wish, or if only, I hadn't been at the party. As a summary, I want to give you four situations and then uh, we will look at the examples according to the uh, situations. Subject, wish, subject and past perfect is actually our order. My first situation is, when I was at school, I ate a lot of sweets and cake. Now I have a toothache. I wish I hadn't eaten such a lot of sweets and cake. Okay, according to this situation, now I regret and I use this sentence. Second situation. Mary bought very expensive shoes and they are extremely uncomfortable. So Mary wishes she hadn't bought those shoes. Third situation. John didn't study science at school. He didn't get into the university to study medicine. Now he wishes that he had studied science at school, at high school, so he could enter the medicine department. And the last situation is I couldn't go to the party. My friends told me that it was very good. I wish I had gone to your party. You, I heard that everybody enjoyed. I heard that that was a good party. And now I regret that I, wa I hadn't been here. As a summary, we can say that if we want to talk about wishes in the past, we should add our wish, I wish or if only, then my sentence will be in past perfect. Thanks for listening. Those were all about the wishes about the past.